Hi, Room 1. Um, I'm making this video for students and parents um, because we're coming back to school on Monday and a lot of you might be a little bit nervous. Uh, some of you have never been to kindergarten before, never been to a big school like this. So you guys are going to hear my voice but not see me. I've been working here all day. It's Saturday, April 3rd, and I am almost done. So I'm going to back up a little bit, and I think the kids are going to feel pretty comfortable when they walk in because they're going to recognize so many of these things. Um, this is all the stuff I had at my house. I had the whole calendar set up at the house, and I had uh, the shelves there. I had the days of the week. I've got the months up here with their birthdays. So they're going to feel comfortable. The, the kids are going to go, hey, I recognize all that stuff from Mrs. Jenkins' house. <laughs> We've got the flag up here where the kids can stand and do the flag salute. I even put the numbers back up. I started with number one here. I made two rows. There's our hundred. Remember celebrating our hundredth day? And then I put the other numbers up here on top of the clock and 137 is where we left off. <laughs> okay, and then here's the kids' names, and I arranged them into the AM and PM cohorts. Basically, that's the morning and afternoon session. So morning session, we start at 8 o'clock. 8 o'clock till 10.15. Um, parents can start dropping off at 7.45. We'll be outside there waiting for you. Mr. Crow and lots of other people will be right in the parking lot directing the kids. So if you wanna just take a peek, our AM, we have Abby, Abigail, Addison, Blake, JVR, Jocelyn, Madeline, and Natalie. As you can see, that is six girls, two boys, only eight in the morning, but they may be switching some people around. Um, the PM cohort, this is what they had on my list. As of Friday, <laughs> Brianna, Corbin, Grady, Juliana, Logan, Madison, Miles, Rena, Ruben, and Zara. And uh, again, they may be switching people around. I'm anticipating the office being really busy on Monday because uh, we'll see how it goes. They may be adding some kids too, but hopefully they'll keep us no more than 10 in the morning, 10 in the afternoon. Uh, afternoon is 11.30 to 1.45. Parents can drop off uh, probably better 10 minutes early, but up to 15. So let's see, 11.15, between 11.15 and 11.30. Uh, they might give uh, some extra time the first few days, but I know they're pretty prompt on closing the gate when it's time to start school. Um, let me back up a little bit and kind of scan the room here. So what I have is I've got a very messy desk area back there, but I'm going to scan the room. What you can see, what we did is our kids have never had desks. So we've always worked at tables, but we spread the tables out really far apart. And then we used to always just sit on the carpet. The kids would come to the carpet for circle time, for the calendar, for teaching, for stories, for music, pretty much everything. And then they would go to the tables and work in small groups. But we used to be able to have eight kids at a table. Now they are arranged uh, six feet apart and then there are four spaces each at each table, but they'll only be two at a time. So you can see right here at this table, I set up, this is where um, all their supplies are gonna just be going up here. I bought them all little white cups to put their pencils, scissors. Uh, there's a marker in there, some other things. The school all provided all of this stuff. And I bought some cute little paw prints. I'm gonna let them decorate their cups um, when they come on Monday. And, uh, but here's the thing, as you see the four, but there'll only be one here and one over here. And then when they go home, the AM goes home, we'll come in and hurry and clean everything up and sanitize everything and it'll be ready for the PM group. So only two kids at each table. And then of course, because I love rainbows, I've got a red table, an orange table, uh, green, blue in the back, and purple in the back. We don't have a yellow because I wanted to kind of see how we don't have yellow on the carpet. I want to be able to say, okay, if you're in the green row, you can come sit at the floor. So I am going to use the floor. We can't all sit at the floor at the same time, but if I want to do the calendar and there's some kids who can't see, I'll have them come to the floor. So maybe we'll have four spread out on the floor and the rest of the tables. Um, okay, let's see, let's keep walking around here. I'm going to try not to make this too long, I promise. 
<laughs> you guys say she always says that. Um, thank you so much, Rena, for this absolutely gorgeous arrangement. I put that front and center so everybody's going to see it when they first walk in. I absolutely love it. And then these shelves used to be in the middle of the room, and one side is books and the other side was manipulatives. Right now they're telling us the kids can't, you know, play with the manipulatives, the blocks, the puzzles, all of that because they can't share, but I think I came up with a little system for the books, I'm hoping. I put the books here where they can get at them, so if they finish early, they come over and get a book, but instead of putting it back on the shelf, I have a basket here. So when they're done with their book, they put it in the basket, we let it sit for a while, or I can sanitize it before it goes back on the shelf. So I think I can get around the, the rules a little bit. Um, okay, here we go. I've got all the sight words. Look at our beautiful sight words here. Um, and then over here, I put our uh, best of the bunch. These are all the kids that know their letters and sounds. We got quite a few up there. We're only missing a few kids who uh, need to get their apples and we'll work on that, okay? And then over here, I put our reading rainbows, okay? So you can see that we only have two kids right now that have completed their rainbows. Um, Abby and Abigail, we had three others, but they're all staying distance learning. So, uh, yeah, we kind of lost three of our top kids, uh, but we still have some awesome kids in room one, that's for sure. So if the kids have their red, orange, and yellow, right now they're considered on grade level. Um, we've also done the green words, but boy, if they just have those uh, red, green, and yellow, that's, that's good. And we'll see, there's, there's quite a few kids that don't have any stripes yet gonna work really hard to try to get them caught up but we do only have eight weeks so they're gonna have to work hard and parents you're still gonna have to work at home uh, then let's show you this I'm still working on this but everybody's gonna have a cubby right now there's just a crayon box in there when they need crayons for something they'll come over and get them and put them back but mostly this is for storing their papers this is where their papers go since they don't have desks okay and then over here this is just gonna be my work table and uh, I've got a lot of stuff going on right now because I'm still collecting. So thank you so much, all the people who have returned their baskets. Um, I've got, I think, 14 out of 21 kids who returned their things. So I'm just collecting these. I'm hoping to get everything back in the next few days. I can't really start using the workbooks and go on with the next letter or go on with the next goal math until I get everything back. So I've got everything kind of... Um, sitting here and hopefully that'll just be a few days but i've got other fun stuff planned so monday we're going to do a calendar and we're going to make a visor and we're going to go over rules and uh, talk about um, safety in the classroom and we're going to have lots of fun so and this week we're going to paint also um, so that is it that was eight minutes sorry about that but i am very excited to see everybody monday i hope everybody has a super Happy Easter. I hope you get a lot of great Easter eggs and candy from the Easter Bunny. And that's it. Bye-bye.